Hello. Uh, I want to make a quick demonstration uh, of, uh, about um, importing um, our leaderboard kit to your existing game. Um, it is actually quite simple. Um, you have to uh, go to the folder Oxia leaderboard uh, the folder uh, uh, that you downloaded from um, um, our link and inside the folder you can see the export version 5 um, folder you have the actor behaviors, actors, fonts, scenes, behaviors and sounds so um, the first thing that you that you have to do, as explained also uh, uh, at our site, uh, is to install the extension of Oxia Leaderboard 2. Um, this is the normal procedure when you install an, an extension in, uh, in, in Stencil. Then. Uh, the other thing you have to do is to copy the extra folders um, um, inside um, um, your extra folder of your game. Means that um, if you go to our game, Oxia Leaderboard Game version 5, you can see the extras folders. Uh, now, all these uh, PNGs, all these um, items, you have to copy them on your uh, game uh, inside your extras folder. Okay, so our leaderboard can pick up all the items um, uh, needs for uh, um, to work at uh, work. So this is the first thing. Um, then um, you have uh, then you open your game and you have to create those 11 game attributes with the exact name uh, um, those are the names here uh, and of course pay attention if it is a text number or boolean um, then after this you have to um, create an actor group in the settings menu name button anchor um, in the settings menu you go here stencil settings and you go to groups and you create here you say create new and you create um, um, a group which is named Buttons Anchor, the exact name. And this is here the exact name, Buttons Anchor. Once you have created this one, then next step would, would be to assign it to only uh, five actors. I will explain you after. Now, um, once we've done this thing here, now we have to import our actors and our behaviors. The good thing with Stencil is that uh, if you go to actor types here, this would be your actors of your game without all these actors of uh, Oxia Leaderboard. Um, you have to import Oxia Leaderboard actors in your game. So, it is very simple, you only have to open um, the export version 5 folder, go to actors and you just drag and drop every single actor here on this, on this page which is the actor types. Once you import it, uh, Stencil imports also the behavior of the actor. So let's say if I imported back to game, 
this is back to game, I just drag and drop back to game PNG to this uh, page. The game will import also the behavior, of course icons, all these things, but also the behaviors. So uh, back to game has the actor back to game behavior. Um, and with that way, you have to do uh, for all the actors here. Now, if Stencil doesn't import the behavior, please check and import manually the behavior. So for back to game PNG, if you go to actor behaviors, you will have actor ACT back to game. Um, the same name of the actor we just put only at the beginning uh, act for actor. This is the, the behavior of back to game. Back to game has the act back to game behavior. But anyway, stencil imports automatically also the behaviors. Now, once you've done this, you imported all the actors, you have only to, to locate five actors, which is back to game, back to game, button ask request, uh, requests, button get bonus, button requests, this thing, and um, back to game. So with uh, you open, for example, let's say back to game, you go to properties and you select here the group of the actor we created before, which is button anchor. We do like this, button anchor, and you do and you close. You do this thing for those five actors, which are explained here. Back to game, button get bonus, button ask request, button request, and level frame. Uh, those five actors. Now, after that, you have to import fonts with the same way. Just drag and drop the fonts. You go to export version 5 folder, fonts, and you just drag and drop the PNG. And the same you do with the, uh, with the sounds. Um, now, we finished and now we have only to create the two scenes. Um, first of all, uh, we have, before creating the scenes, let's go to the same behavior here and we have to import only the two scenes uh, behaviors FB login start and Oxia leaderboard. Always just drag and drop um, one each time on this page here, send behaviors. And you will have FB login start and Oxia leaderboard. Now, after that, uh, you need to create um, those two scenes. Um, so, um, you create uh, two scenes here, um, one with the game start game, exactly, start game. Uh, and important is that you have to, um, uh, you have to uh, go to properties and set the start game with width uh, 1024 and 640. This is not um, important, uh, uh, but um, uh, as we um, using uh, some PNGs for uh, our leaderboard, which has fixed, uh, 
just uh, try to put these uh, values just for testing. Of course, then you, you can uh, change your sim, your width, uh, your height, and of course you can change also the graphics of the of the um, of the leaderboard kit. But uh, but let's set for start game those values here, and then we close, and we create um, another sim leaderboard, and we go to properties, and we create. A sim with width 8064 and 1568 height. Now, after that, we go to behaviors, let's say for the sim leaderboard, and we add behavior the auxia leaderboard for the sim leaderboard. We close, then we go to start game. We go to behaviors and we add phase FB login start on our sim start game. Of course, as you can see, I'm not doing OK because um, the sim uh, has already uh, the behavior. So um, I just created two sims with uh, its behavior, and as you can see, uh, this is it's all you have to do for importing the whole kit leaderboard uh, to your game. Now, uh, before starting uh, testing the game, you, uh, you only have to, um, as explained in our site, you have to um, go to start game um, Open behavior, FB login start, and you go to define attributes and you just assign the font to this font attribute. You just, um, you will see that every font uh, attribute has the, the same name with the font to choose. So, login user font choose font, you will see login user, this font, font here, and you say OK. The same goes for font score. Um, and then, um, after you have created um, those, um, those game attributes, uh, you will have for leaderboard name, game attribute, you will have to write the leaderboard. It, it is the name of the Shen we created. And for Shen game name, um, you have to write the name of the Shen, uh, of the starting Shen uh, you created before, which is the start game. Our leaderboard needs uh, two things. Uh, one is the leaderboard scene, which is all where it happens. And the first scene is the start game. Actually, the start game is your game. Um, um, so um, it will be uh, the scene of, of your game when you play. And after that game, you ask to go to the leaderboard scene so you can see the maps and all the leader. Uh, and do all the leaderboard actions. Um, so, after you have defined the fonts here, remember you have always always to define the fonts on all the sends here, where is written define attributes, then you go to define Facebook. Uh, you click define Facebook and you write the code um, and the uh, Facebook app ID. And this is for the start game scene. Now we close and we open the leaderboard scene and we go to behaviors, edit. 
and we go again to define attributes here. Now you have to um, uh, check that all these things uh, that you have created the game attributes as we said before. Uh, the only thing you will uh, have to fill is this section here with the fonts. Um, so you have to choose the font you imported before and um, connect it with this attribute here. As you can see it has the the same name of the font. So it goes for anti font, challenge score, dialogue challenge, all this thing as you can see has the same uh, name. So it is really simple. And of course if you remember the set you have to define this thing here, the set a button anchor. This is the attribute of a group and you have to, as you can see, choose group. You have to select buttons anchor here. And, uh, and it, it is done. You don't have any other uh, thing to uh, like attributes to define. Uh, you can leave all the attributes uh, here as it is. You don't need uh, to bother. Of course, uh, on the site we ex explained what uh, what is done with all these uh, attributes here, and I can say it just quickly. This is the number of the users, the the image of the users, um, which is one here. This is. Uh, the default. Uh, when you design the leaderboard map of all the levels um, together with the actor level, the number of, of the level, you can see only one Facebook user. Uh, I've made it like this and you can add also two and three users, but as it is uh, getting uh, confusing having a lot of users on the same app, it is better to set one. Uh, so now this is the leaderboard levels. Those are all the levels of the game. Um, I have 61. Uh, and of course you can change the actor of the level, of each level, the, the uh, X and Y position. If you go here on the attributes, and you select uh, X path leaderboard list 8. This is the he coordinates. This is the, uh, as you can see, begins from 0 and ends to 60. So it is 61 levels. Uh, this is the X coordinate of the 61 level. It starts from 0. 0 means 61. So 1 is 60, 59, 58, 57 and goes on. So if you want just to change um, the, uh, the X coordinate, let's say of the 60 level, we, you go to 1 and you just change here. And if you want to change also of the 60 level the Y position, Y position, you just go here, Y path LB list 8, and you go here on the 1, which is the 60, uh, the 16 level. So you have as you can see also the coordinates of all the 60 levels here, 61 levels of the game, and you can choose and, and change. Um, of course, uh, instead of designing your own path or maybe changing, uh, changing the levels, if you want less level, you can just write 50 here and just um, and just um, a, a delete 
the coordinates, let's say, of, of some levels here, um, if you don't want to use 61. Um, now, um, this attribute, the next attribute here, action post score, is if you want to, when publishing scores to Facebook, if you want to keep the highest score done of one level, you have to put here one instead of zero. Uh, if you put zero, uh, every time you play, you will replace the current score with the score you've done, uh, the actual score you've done. Um, so every time you, you change the score. Uh, again, I repeat, if you, if you put one here, it will keep only the highest level done of that level. Now, the publish time, you have to set it to true. Uh, this attribute actually, um, if the action post score is to one, which keeps the highest score, the publish time doesn't have um, validity because the leaderboard always keeps the highest score. But if the action post score is zero, and you put the publish time to true, it will keep uh, only the latest score done for, um, for um, a specific level. So let's say if you have played offline uh, w with two different mobile uh, devices, the same level, and you, and you publish, um, the scores, uh, let's say after one day, um, the machine will keep uh, only that level which is uh, the most recent. Um, so um, it is better to set publish time to true. Um, now the other, and let's go now to the other attribute. This is the load image um, um, images at start. This attribute, it, I put it false because uh, when you begin the game, it loads um, each time the the, fa the images of the Facebook uh, profile uh, users profile. So you you have always updated the images of the of your friends. Uh, if you put it uh, true, uh, once you start the game, uh, it will uh, load the saved images of uh, in your mobile. Uh, it's up to you if you want to uh, have the images always updated or update the images, let's say, um, in, in some period that uh, you can define. Now, the next attribute is offline with pop-up. Uh, it is better to put it uh, this to false. Uh, of course, um, um, our leaderboard, uh, in some particular moments, very critical, will always display a pop-up dialogue that explains you what you have to do. Um, but if you, um, uh, even if you put it to false, false is uh, just for offline gaming, so uh, you don't have to, uh, if you go offline, always show a pop-up. Uh, uh, there is a sign of the offline gaming which will appear on the back to game button. So leave it here to false. And now we only have the score and the bonus of that level. The score is the score, of course, you don't have to do nothing. It is the GXbox Global. This is the score of, uh, of a level. Um, and um, and uh, this is the G bonus level. This is the bonus of that level. Uh, 
and, and and it's up to you how you can define the bonus. It, um, as you can see here, I defined my bonus in respect of uh, the score, but you are free to do whatever you want. Of course, pay attention that our leaderboard, if you put bonus at minus one, the game will keep the bonus made before and not change the bonus. So if bonus level is minus one, we'll keep the Facebook server bonus that you've done before. Um, so um, this is the other attribute, you, you just leave it to true. Um, and as you can see, those are the attributes of the whole leaderboard kit. Uh, you don't have to do uh, anything else. Uh, so it's quite simple. Um, and then, of course, uh, one uh, the most important thing, uh, but of course describe it uh, other times uh, in our site, is to define the Facebook. This is, um, those are the, the codes of your Facebook app application ID. Um, if you go to our site and if you watch the other video, you, you can see how you can simply uh, fill um, with the correct information those attributes which are um, straight connected to your Facebook uh, application. So, um, the next and last step is only for designing the leaderboard. Just, just uh, pay attention on um, this um, um, trigger, draw background. Uh, if you uh, playing uh, the game and you are playing our leaderboard, you will see that we have um, actually three actions, which is the post action, it, uh, the level action, and the leader B action here. G leaderboard action, leader B, and post or level. Uh, if the G leaderboard action is leader B, um, the leaderboard designs the map of all the levels. If the action is post, it posts the score and visits the that level the, um, the Facebook user played. And if the action is level, the, leader, the leaderboard will design uh, only that level um, the user asked and will not post scores. Uh, the only thing here is that the leader B, the, the action leader B uses two PNGs, which the maximum is 8,000 pixels by 1,500 pixels. Uh, and the other two actions, post and level, uses only one PNG, uh, like map, which is width 4064 and height 762. Now, you only have, just to check, it is not important, but just to check if the, uh, if the map on your game is well centered, uh, uh, the PNG, so um, if you see that the map is not uh, really centered on your screen, you just only need to change uh, these attributes here. Ik start back image 3, which is 0, you, you can put 10 or, or 20, uh, and the same goes for the actions post and level. Here and the X max spanning is how uh, is the limit of the he coordinate uh, for the camera panning. Uh, so when you panning with uh, uh, with your finger um, on our leaderboard and your and your travel uh, all over the lever uh, all over the leaderboard, um, this is the maximum 
coordinate of the X spanning, which is actually the width of the leaderboard, the PNG. And here on the uh, leaderboard with all the levels here, we have the X max spanning 8000, as you can see, which is also the width of the leaderboard a pan and um, of the leaderboard map, which is of course combined by a two PNGs, this PNG and this one. Each of this one is four thousand pixels, and that makes eight thousand pixels. So uh, it is only just to keep an eye on how the PNGs on the leaderboard map are centered on your screen. Uh, so, just make some uh, modifications on those variables here. Uh, so, this is the import instructions of the leaderboard uh, game. You just go only here, define attributes, define Facebook, and just, uh, just check the uh, leaderboard uh, number here. Uh, here. And uh, it's all done, I think. You don't have to do nothing else and just only uh, test your game. Uh, thank you. And, and just uh, um, follow the instructions of, um, in our site for importing uh, the leaderboard uh, game.